Oh, bro, go. Oh, my gosh. What's up, y'all? It's Nosey. Welcome to my channel. And today, we got another horror reacts. Today, we are watching Llama Arts 2 Llama Arts horror stories that are animated. Shout out to Llama Arts. Go. Let's go. My name is Josh Roberts, and it's been a year since I was abducted. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was walking home from school. It was about 6 p.m., and there was a full moon and a chill in the air. I stepped off the bus, and for the first time, someone else got off with me. I'd never seen this new kid at school before. I could hear footsteps behind me. I took a quick glance and saw the kid walking at a brisk pace. I thought he was following me, so I took a left, which wasn't my usual route. I looked around again and saw him take the same left. My heart started pumping and my legs started shaking at the sound of the footsteps as they got louder and uh, faster. Shoes. I then panicked and started running. I remembered a shortcut in the nearby forest to my neighborhood. So I ran as fast as my legs could carry me. Hey kid, wait up, said a heavy voice from behind me. I tried my hardest not to stumble on the logs and boulders in my path. I could hear the sound of sticks and leaves being broken by some fast, heavy footsteps. My legs started throbbing as the adrenaline wore off, so I took a detour towards a playground. I stopped to catch my breath, looking around for somewhere to hide, and it went silent. I was doubtful that I lost him. I took my phone out to call the police when I spotted a local news article. Caution, there is a suspicious man on the loose. He escaped the local prison and assaulted an officer. Beware, he may look like a teen, but he is in his 20s. If you see him, call 911 immediately and lock your door. My mind started rushing with thoughts, and I started to panic. All of a sudden, someone started choking me. With oh, shoot. I tried to fight back, but they were so strong, I didn't stand a chance. My feelings of hope began to diminish as I slowly blacked out. I awoke to find myself in a dark, damp room that looked like a basement. The floor was hard and cold. There were no windows, but there was a staircase and a bathroom. I tried to move, but I was tied up with a thick rope. Yeah, I got him. How much was the deal? Two hundred? Listen, you gotta do a little better than that. Okay, fine. You better bring the right amount, or you'll be tied up like that kid. What? <laughs> Are they selling me? The guy sounded mad and anxious with whomever he was talking to. Right after he hung up, he opened the door and walked down the stairs with an evil smile. Let go of me! I exclaimed as he taunted me. My arms started to fall asleep due to the tightness of the rope. He came closer to me, and I spat in his face. I thought I was about to kiss. Sheer rage. Oof. Then the doorbell rang, followed by pounding on the door. The guy grabbed some tape and shut me up before I could scream for help. He slowly backed off, signaling me to keep quiet, and ran towards the front door. I looked around, trying to see what I could use to untie these ropes. I spotted a rusty, sharp edge sticking out of the wall. This was my one hope. I successfully got up and tried with all my might to reach it. As I was trying to cut the rope from my hands, I could hear the commotion upstairs getting heated. I managed to free myself from the ropes when I heard the front door slam. The silence was terrifying. I was frozen in fear. Footsteps started coming towards the door. I choked and shuffled back to my original position, arms behind my back, wrists tightly locked together. Now where were we? Said the man. He walked towards me, grabbed my ankles, and started dragging me when the phone rang. He dropped me instantly and charged upstairs. I wasn't going to lose this opportunity. I untied my feet, grabbed the closest thing to me, and hid behind some boxes. Now where did you go? He said as he stampeded down the stairs. I heard him getting closer to where I was hiding. I bolted up from behind the boxes and saw him checking the bathroom. 
As he walked out, I struck him over the head with a pole. Oh yeah, Josh. Fell to the floor. Let's go. Red pooled around his head. I ran upstairs and out the front door. I stumbled my way. Is he dead though? House, screaming. Gotta finish his job, Josh. Thankfully, opened the door. She was shocked and fearful when she saw me. The police were called, and I was rushed into the hospital. They're still looking for that man. I knew they didn't catch him. I knew they didn't catch him. They always get away, bro. Unless he's like dead, dead. That's crazy. For sticking around to the end of the Ooh. video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description. I may that merch, that merch, that merch. It was a summer ago. My family and I had gone to a cabin that most would use for a winter vacation, but my family wasn't like that. The cabin was located in the middle of the forest. There was no cell phone service, so as you can imagine, I was pissed. My mom always complained to me about being isolated and confined to the comforts of my phone. I always found solace in my phone, since being around people made me feel irrational and just plain weird. My parents never understood that. Anyway, my little sister is six years old and was playing around in the forest. She had gone a bit too far out of my sight and I started to get a little worried. I called out her name but got no response. I then went in the direction Dude, she just dipped on and found nothing but a bloodied bow. My eyes widened as I frantically ran around looking for her. I found a blood trail that led into the deeper parts of the forest. I hesitated. Nothing was going to stop me from saving my sister. I followed the trail what? as far as it went. After about an hour, the blood stopped at a hole. He walked into blood. I debated blood? whether I should go back and tell my parents, but I didn't think they'd believe me, even if I did say that my sister was missing. There's no denying my parents thought I was insane. Despite my fear, I jumped into the hole. I what? fell for what felt like forever. Then. I finally hit water. My face morphed into disgust as I stumbled through what I thought was a sewer, since there was no light. I looked up out of the hole and saw a tiny white dot. I started to walk around. There was crunching under my feet. I paid no attention to it since I thought it was some dead leaves or sticks that had fallen into the sewer. That's how he knows bones. It was until I fell. Some unknown liquid had splashed all over me. I remembered that my phone was in my back pocket, and I pulled it out and shined it on myself. Time seemed to slow down, as I realized what I was walking in. It was a river of fresh blood. The blood had absolutely soaked me. I held in a scream, as to not alert any nearby creatures. I then ran through the connection of tunnels and refused to stop, until I started hearing footsteps behind me. I stopped turned around and shined my flashlight around. The light from my phone landed on a distant figure. It looked so small, so maybe it was a dog Who that? an alligator that had sneaked in. I no started dog. to move towards it, and as I got closer, the figure started to get clearer. I started to see that it wasn't a dog or an alligator. As soon as I realized this, I stopped in my tracks and stared. It looked like me. Its body was contorted. Their back faced towards the ground, and its head was turned right side up and faced towards me. Its legs were normal, but its arms were legs as well. It had jagged teeth, and it was chewing on what was left Ew. of my sister's head. What? I saw my parents' head beside it. I stepped what? in shock and fear. The mutant of myself charged towards me. In a state of panic, I tried to run away. But I slipped. I hit my oh! Head on the rock. Bro, go. Oh my gosh.
Wow. What? Was he the killer? Thank you for sticking around to the end of What? That's crazy. So this dude was the killer? Was he alive? Did he kill himself? He had this killed himself, but wait. Cause he the only one with a head. He murked his family then stabbed himself. So he really was crazy. Oh my gosh, that's, that's wild. That is wild, bro. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see y'all in the next. Peace.